So we are just two days away from this Packers-Bills matchup, Sunday Night Football, and many people are not giving the Packers any shot whatsoever. If we take a look at this game, the Packers are 10.5 point underdogs, which is the biggest underdog Aaron Rodgers has been his entire career. So I think coming into this year, many people expected, including myself, the Packers would still be one of the top teams in the NFL. And so far this season, that has just not been the case. The offense has not been able to get things going. The past three games have been very sad to watch for this Packers offense mainly. We have lots of injuries at receiver. The offense isn't getting going. Things are just not working out. The offensive line has been inconsistent, which has led to this Packers offense being the 23rd ranked scoring offense in the NFL. So this Sunday, they face a very tough task with the Bills defense, who's currently the best scoring defense in the NFL. So if the Packers want anything to change, they have to completely turn around what has happened these first six weeks, seven weeks of this NFL season and get a little bit more energy coming into this game, which we'll see if it happens because right now, Alan Lazard is going to miss this game. Randall Cobb already on the IR. So the Packers are so thin at wide receiver. And Rodgers was talking about this last Sunday when the game, the last game ended, and he mentioned how maybe it's good that they're going to be such big underdogs because nobody is going to believe that they have a chance in this game. So as a fan, you know, knowing that it's not likely that the Packers will win this game, I almost feel relaxed coming into this game because if we lose, oh well, no one really thinks we should. When you look at these past few games, I think each game going in, we thought, okay, the Packers should win this game, starting with the Giants, then the Jets, then the Commanders. So each game was sort of a, a big um, disappointment. But this game, however, we already are not expected to win. So if we lose, it's like, ah, well, oh, well. Um, Yeah, so hopefully we can come in and shock the world on Sunday Night Football. Um, I think crazier things have happened than the Packers coming in Sunday night and beating the Bills, even though that probably would be one of the craziest things that have happened in a very long time, especially with the injuries at wide receiver. But you never say never, and I think we saw Aaron Rodgers still has that competitive energy, that fire, that he's ready to come in here and and beat the Bills. Clearly, you need more than just that belief that you can, but we'll see if they can somehow put something together. But as I said, against the best scoring defense in the NFL, it's going to be a tough task for the Packers. When we take a look at the receivers, they have not been um, up to the level I think that Aaron Rodgers expected this whole week. Of course, people were debating Aaron Rodgers calling out his receivers, which I have no problem with. He didn't name anyone specifically. He said people need to do better or they're not going to play, which is true. And Aaron Rodgers himself has even said that he needs to play a little better as well. But it's not like Aaron Rodgers has been absolutely terrible this year. He definitely hasn't been his normal self. He's missed more throws, I would say, than typical. But still right now, he has the ninth best passer rating in the NFL. So it's not like he's out here playing absolutely terrible. I do think once him and his receivers get on track with each other, which maybe or maybe won't happen this year, I do think things will start to you know go better for this team. The question is, will that happen? It just seems like him and his receivers aren't on the same page, lots of, the, lots of these games. And then you add in the fact that the receivers have been dropping lots of passes, five or six last game. Um, we sort of see why this Packers team just hasn't been able to do much, which I think mainly falls on the offense. The defense has played uh, you know, solid a majority of the year, but they haven't played perfectly. But I think it starts with this offense and Aaron Rodgers. So the question for this game is with, uh, well, not Sammy Watkins, with uh, Al Lazard out, with Randall Cobb out, I mean, against the best defense in the NFL, can Romeo Dobbs step up? We saw him do it a few weeks ago. He's been pretty quiet the past few week, past couple weeks. But I still think when you look at Romeo Dobbs, Sammy Watkins, we still have some talent here. Even though, as I've said the past few days, I want the Packers to add a receiver. I think it makes sense to trade for a receiver to help Rodgers out. Um, but we'll see if they can get the passing game going this game. And one thing the Packers haven't really been able to do the past couple games is get this running game going. Part of that has to do with they've gotten behind the chains a good amount, which Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers talked about. Um, But we really just need to continue to get the ball in Aaron Jones' hands, considering um, he's probably been the the best player on this team overall, on offense especially. Last week he had 10 targets. So with the Packers, you know, lacking in the receiver area, Aaron Jones has definitely stepped up there, and the Packers have targeted him a lot. The thing is about this game, the running game, The Bills have the best rushing defense in the NFL. So it's not going to be easy to run against this front. It wasn't easy last week or the week before against the Jets and Commanders for the Packers to run against their front. So hopefully they can figure things out and maybe get things going. We'll see if they're able to rely on the run, even though it is a very, very talented defense. If we move to the other side of the ball, the Bills offense. Of course, Josh Allen and this Bills offense have been incredible so far this year. Stephon Diggs, 
Um, Isaiah McKenzie, lots of, these other, lots of these other talented receivers, leading them to being the second best scoring offense in the NFL, just behind the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Packers defense this year, if we take a look at their defense where they rank currently, they are the 14th best scoring defense in the NFL. And as I said, this Packers offense has had so many drives where they go three and out, where they don't control the clock, which leads the other teams to um, spending a lot of the time with their offense on the field. The Packers defense has been out there a ton, which clearly doesn't benefit the defense, you know, with them having to spend that much time out there game after game after game. And we've seen very good stretches from them where they'll have like, you know, five, six really good series. And then there'll be a couple couple series where they give up a lot of points, a lot of yards, and teams will slowly, you know, break away and take that clock away, um, you know, in later parts of the game. So hopefully the Packers defense can come in here. But as I said, the Bills, I mean, they're so talented on offense. When you have a guy like Josh Allen back there, um, if we can just keep the Bills to between 20 and 30 points and hope that the Packers offense gets clicking for the first time in a long time, that's the um, that's our you know best chance here in Buffalo. And one of the big questions for this game is you know how are the Packers defense going to play? Because so far this year they've actually been a very talented defense when it comes to the passing defense. They are the best passing defense by yards in the NFL this entire season, which sort of seems crazy because there have been those moments where the secondary just breaks apart. Um, it happened against. The Vikings week one, Justin Jefferson torched us mainly in the first half. It's happened a couple times this year, but I do think the Packers have gotten more aggressive, and we saw that last week and the week before. And yes, Jair did get beat a few times by Terry McLaurin, but overall, I think that aggressive defense is um, you know, much better to play than just sitting back and letting teams pick you apart all game long. And so I'm curious to see if we'll see Jair shadowing or following Stephon Diggs and man all game. Who knows if that'll happen? I feel like it's better than just letting him sit back there and you know pick apart the Packers' zone defense, which at times has struggled a lot this year, but we'll see what Joe Barry's um, plan is. But Stephon Diggs, one of the best receivers in the NFL, and uh, we'll see how Jair matches up against him if he follows him, those kinds of things. So it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be an exciting game. I honestly hope the Packers can come in here and get things done. Um, it'll take a miracle, but miracles happen from time to time, so I believe it can happen. Why not? And the great thing is, if the Packers come in here and beat the Bills, we're right back in the conversation for being one of the best teams in the NFL just like that. So I know no one expects us to win, which as I said, as Aaron Rodgers said, maybe it's good. You know, we're underdogs. No one thinks anything's going to happen. So maybe that will allow the players to play more free, the young guys to play more free. And maybe come Monday, we'll be able to talk about how the Packers have a chance to, you know, make a run considering if we beat the Bills and they've been the, one of the best teams, then that would definitely be the case. So let's hope for a miracle and let's hope that the Packers defense can shut down Josh Allen as best that he can and that this Packers offense gets clicking even though we have very limited wide receivers right now. So that is all I have for this game. Feel free to, to drop your comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time.